welcome viewers in this video we will see the analysis of coupled circuits subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box now we will go to the topic analysis of coupled circuit let us consider this coupled circuit the two circuits are coupled magnetically coupled together contain the voltage source on both the circuit we have voltage source available E1 here E2 Current flowing through the first circuit is I1, second circuit is I2. Resistor and inductor is connected in series R1, L1. Here R2, L2. This is a dot. The dot rule the we separate video available. So this due to these two inductance magnetically coupled, this is the mutual inductance. M is the mutual inductance between L1 and L2. Consider the coupled circuit. Each circuit contains a voltage source as both current I1 and I2 enters the coil through the daughter ends. So M is taken as positive. So here the current enters from the dot for the first circuit. Second circuit also current enters at the dot. So both are enters at the dot. So it is taken as positive. Now we will go for the application of KBL. Kirchhoff's voltage law to the both the circuits. By applying KBL, the two loop equation is written in time domain. What is Kirchhoff's voltage law? We consider this circuit, the voltage, applied voltage equal to resistive drop plus inductive drop. Similarly, this side also. That is voltage rise equal to voltage drop. So, based on that, we can write the applied voltage E1. First, consider this circuit E1 equal to resistive drop I1 R1. Then inductive drop L1 DI1 by DT plus mutual inductance DI2 divided by DT. So this mutual inductance is due to the second circuit. While writing the first circuit, first circuit equation, this mutual inductance based on the second circuit, this I2, based on I2 only mutually inducted. So that we are using I2 here. For resistive drop and inductive drop, we are using I1, but for mutual inductance. I2 because due to I2 only there is a mutual inductance. Similarly, the second circuit E2, E2 equal to resistive drop and inductive drop. R2 I2 plus L2 DI2 by DT plus M DI1 by DT. So, this mutual inductance while considering the second circuit that is due to the first circuit. So, the DI1 by DT, right. So, the voltage rise equal to voltage drop. We will take this is equation number 1 and equation 2. So, you can go for the further simplification of equation 1 and 2. So, this is the time domain in phasor domain that is J omega. In terms of J omega, we can write R1 I1 plus J omega L1 I1. L di by dt is written as L1 I1 into J omega. Similarly, J omega M I2 that is equal to E1. We will take this I1 commonly available. I1 available commonly. So R1 plus J omega L1 I1 plus J omega M I2 equal to E1. We will take this equation number 3. Similarly, equation 2 we can write it as R2 I2 plus J omega L2 I2 plus J omega M I1 that is equal to E2. J omega M I1 is available here. I2 available commonly we taken outside J omega L2 plus R2 into I2 equal to E2. Now we got equation 3 and 4 in a simplified, simplified form in a phasor. So this is the I1 term. This is I2 term. Similarly here this is I1 term. This is I2 term. So based on that we can write it in a matrix format. So, R1, J omega, L1, J omega, M. Similarly, here, J omega, M. R2, J omega, L2. This is I1 term, I2 term. So, I1 into I, I1, I2, current matrix. So, this is the impedance matrix. E1, E2. We will take this is equation number 5. Right. So, first we wrote in time domain, then pressure domain, then it is written in matrix form. So, this equation 3 and 4 can be written in a another format. We can write the equation 3 and 4. R1 plus J omega L1 minus M plus M into I1. This 
m is added and subtracted so the original value will not affected in equation number 3 here we are adding m minus m and plus m then remaining things are as it is similarly here here also with l2 we are added minus m plus m here here we are adding this r2 plus j omega l2 minus m plus m into e2 so this now these two terms are commonly available l1 minus m plus m l2 minus m plus m so based on that we can redraw the circuit we can go for a redraw the circuit the above coupled circuit may be redrawn again it is called conductively coupled equivalent circuit of a mutually coupled circuit it is called so because of common conducting element m so this m is available commonly between circuit 1 and circuit 2 so based on that we can redraw the circuit having only one m earlier we have there is only magnetically coupled now we are having the redrawn the circuits called mutually coupled circuit now we will see the, the resultant circuit so this is the resultant mutually coupled circuit this m is available commonly so what we have e1 the current is i1 here similarly here e2 current is i2 earlier what we have r1 l1 now it is split into L1 minus M and M. Similarly, this said L2 minus M plus M. Right? That's why we added and subtracted the M. So that R1 plus L1 minus M plus M. Similarly, R2 plus L2 minus M plus M. Right? So from L1 mutual inductance is subtracted. So L1 minus M. From L2 mutual inductance is subtracted L2 minus M. The mutual inductance between two is redrawn separately it is M. So now it is contain a single circuit having the mutual inductance between the circuit 1 and circuit 2. Current I1 as well as I2 both are flowing through the mutual inductance. So in this video we discuss the analysis of a coupled circuit. First we discuss to we have two circuits contain the voltage source E1, E2, I1, I2 having the elements R1, L1 that side R2, L2 and between the two circuit we have mutual inductance M then we applied the Kirchhoff's voltage law to the circuit 1 and 2 then it is written in phasor form then it is converted into matrix form then we added plus and we added and subtracted mutual inductance M plus m minus m based on that we redrawn this circuit it's called mutually coupled circuit so we have the common element m between circuit 1 and 2 that's why it is called a mutually coupled circuit subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening